This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at the search engine u.com which is claimed to be powered by AI. And it says, the tagline says over here, the AI search engine you control. Okay. So let us try it out by asking a query, who is the founder of u.com? Okay. So it says, u.com is a privacy focused search engine uh, this thing uh, it says over here quick facts the website was founded in 2020 by two former salesforce employees brian mccann and richard searcher uh, following the search engines of, uh, announcement it received 20 million in for funding from mark benioff the salesforce founder okay now here you have a chat feature so let's try the chat feature Okay, so here it says the founder of u.com is Richard Socher. He is the uh, founder. He purchased the domain name in 1996. Okay, working on the project since 2022 and it has been released. Okay, now I can ask a follow up question. Why did he, why did he start u.com? Let's see. What is the response? So it says he wanted to create a search engine that was tailored to the needs of the user, more personalized, efficient than current offerings, focusing on user experience and creating a search engine that was tailored to the user. He could create a search engine that was more helpful and sufficient than current search engines. That is the idea over here. Okay. So uh, let me see if it maintains the context. What is he well known for? I am referring to Richard over here. Uh, let's see what is the response. Okay. Yes, he's very well known for his work in natural language processing and artificial intelligence. He's a professor at Stanford University and he was the chief scientist at Salesforce. He has authored several books related to natural language processing and artificial intelligence. This is quite nice. Uh, say, can you cite one of his most popular research paper? Let's see what comes up. Yeah, recursive deep models is that's his most popular work. Or semantic compositionality over a sentiment tree bank. Let me try. Can you summarize the above paper? Let's see what comes out. I'm just curious to see what kind of result comes out over here. Wow, nice. Discusses how to use deep recursive deep models to learn a semantic compositionality over a sentiment tree bank. It explores how deep learning techniques to create models that can accurately understand the underlying meaning of text can be used to generate meaningful responses. I kind of like this. Uh, uh, it's kind of maintaining the context, maintaining the history over here. As I uh, go, maybe I'll go back. I'll try to break the context and see who was the other founder of u.com. See here, I'm not sure if it is hallucinating text over here. It says one of the other founder of u.com is Jan Likun. I'm sure Jan Likun is not the founder of u.com as per the official records over here. So as with any AI generative models, hallucination may be present. It can also break. Right Up to here, the responses were quite good. And suddenly when I'm changing it over here, I'm not sure if Jan Likun has invested in Okay, as Jan Likun, Likun invested in u.com. I don't think so. Mm, investor profile. Advisor at Element. Okay, Jan Likun Investments. Anywhere, I just want to see quickly. According to, I don't think so. I don't know. May not be. 
right uh, series we view all investments nah, no no is not going to work anywhere else i'll just quickly check i don't want to waste too much of time over here music pal no i don't know and lekin again i have no idea so let me not do it i don't know if it has broken over here because as per uh, this results i don't think so mm -hmm. okay over here even this shows organizational founder the founder only the first one is relevant u.com right okay so this was one query which i tried okay maybe i can try out something else over here instead of going to the chat um uh, just in the search let me try about um, just to see if the search is locally relevant um, let me try out uh, okay ice cream parlors ice cream parlors near central bengaluru let's see what comes out it shows bakeries in bengaluru okay hmm ah uh, bangalore okay let's see should be fine yeah it kind of gives out a list over here right and then it shows some places over here right okay now what if i go to chat and uh, i don't know if it can scrape information from some of this uh, this thing okay mm. okay it says this right there are several ice cream parlors are this thing if i were to ask can you show me the menu wow what happened Why did i jump over here Where did I type something? Okay, here. Okay, can. Okay, let's go to this. Okay, can you show me the menu of Polar Bear? I don't know what happens over here. Just trying it out. Wow. Hmm. It's showing some ref references over here. Okay, the references from LinkedIn. second is one from uh, this thing but it's a different layout okay not the central bangalore one i believe let's see what is the reference over here oh it shows the website why did this reference change from that to this ideally it should have been the same reference it could have been more useful yeah probably as the software evolves it might get better okay now let me try out another query say i want a okay python code for processing a video file let's see what comes out yeah so it pulls out from stack overflow over here and highlights this i can also open this in a side panel over here to quickly check out If you want to play an MP4 video, this is the OpenCV program which will help you do that. Nice. Kind of pulls out the proper replies. Okay. It also pulls out from other sources like Geeks for Geeks over here, and then the solution. Okay. So this is quite nice, nice search engine. It also has a chat functionality, but again with chat, uh, you can also have hallucinations and other issues with. Uh, you are typical chat functionality in search engines now okay so even that issue is there okay i don't know what kind of follow up question i can ask for this particular uh, this thing so to optimize this code i don't know i'm just trying to ask something let's see what comes up to make it more efficient uh, removing unnecessary piece of code okay it then shows some other code over here hmm okay so you can also have image searches for the same topic you can have video searches hmm so it shows up the youtube videos nice what does news show how to read multiple files in okay this pulls up some articles 
okay yeah so this is about um, u.com they also have u code code uh, this thing again again a search engine but this is mostly mostly for code i hope it is optimized for code maybe i'll again ask the same query of python code for processing a video file video file okay what does it show up over here yeah it shows with open cv uh, this is most used python module for video processing okay it again shows up the same examples over here oh you can also have some kind of code complete over here let's generate code let's see uh, okay if you sign up then you have unlimited free for a limited time but currently it is generating this description of the code hmm okay what does it show not too good nothing nothing useful over here yeah python code for processing a video file nothing is coming up over hmm maybe it's not working the way it is intended to do what is this functionality over here i don't know okay uh, how you can improve basically you can give feedback to improve this particular site okay they claim to also have a lot of other apps which can be personalized once you log in and uh, you create an account uh, for example you have apps like this thing so probably the search results from these sources would be in a better way i think that's the idea over here okay yeah so this was about u.com if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel check out u.com see if it is useful for you see you in another video